this place you can avail two options you have the ropeway or you can walk down here I would suggest you to walk down because the ropeway is er, costing you six euros which is ridiculous for a climb down of four, around 400 stairs maybe not more than that we have our ATM souvenir shops and the boats the prices of the boats are almost the same you know on the counters just pick up the one you want and drift away we're gonna take the volcanic islands cruise on the ships you can see. this is the pirate ship going to the volcanic cruise and hot springs of the tours have their own prices the volcanic tour along with the hot springs will cost you a bare minimum of 20 euros if you're taking the normal yacht it's a two and a half hour trip and we'll be dropped at the same place and then we'll have to take the cable car again to go up to Fira. what are your opinions about this Manish? this is really beautiful Devastated by a volcanic eruption in the 16th century BC. We are currently going to visit the same volcano which lies in the center between Ia and Pira, the two major towns of Santorini. So basically, all the neighboring islands are the volcanic islands. Thanks to that, Santorini has its diverse landscapes and beaches like Red Beach, White Beach, and Black Beach. Join the catamaran cruise and heading for those volcanic islands reaching the top. Inside the mountains, the center is the center of the volcano. It's quite an active volcano, although I don't know when it had from last time. temperature is very hot the water is around 40 to 45 degrees centigrade hot we didn't get down but the other crew members did the water is a little warm so everything is going for a slide kilometers of an uphill journey we had to book tickets to this the entrance fee was around two and a half euros do not forget to carry your water bottles while trekking uphill in the volcano normally in the summer temperatures of Greece are 24 degrees centigrade but in the volcano it's 40 so the journey can be really tiring hot in here you can see the smoke coming out of the volcano the rocks are mainly composed of dolomite and limestone the volcano has had 3000 eruptions till the day it started from 2000 BC and recently there was an earthquake currently heading towards the center I swear I've never been to a place more beautiful than this
is mind blowing expecting to see a crater but it's kind of dormant right now it's been around 2000 years obviously